Maddalena. And tell me the name of this organization. Profiles in History. Okay, so Sean was talking about how yeah. cool this is, but from your own mouth, what, what, what inspired you? How'd you get it connected to this, and how'd you get it going? Okay, I own a company called Profiles in History. We're an auction house based in Los Angeles. We sell movie props and memorabilia, and I host a television show for, for sci-fi called Hollywood Treasure. So kind of combine the two. We bring these things here, show them to the public, get them interested in our business, bring Sean along to help us uh, get the people to come into the booth. Yeah, no, no but you, I mean, you're obviously getting your hands on these great items, which are really sought after. Absolutely. So how are you, what's your secret? Like, how are you getting, getting to the good stuff? And we're with a lot of the studios. You know, we did for Marvel a few months ago, we did the Captain America auction. I did the Lost auction for ABC. So, have a lot of contacts in the entertainment industry. A lot of, this came out of the Warner Brothers archive. Handle Stan Winston's collection. This came directly from Stan Winston, multiple Academy Award winner. Edward Scissorhand. You know, this is out of the Sony archive. Okay, yeah. Look at the Ghost Rider motorcycle. I mean, what a cool thing to have, right? It's Look amazing. Amazing. Does it functional? Yeah, is it fully operate? Functional. It did? One cylinder. No way. No shock absorbers. So here's the trick. They put this on a green screen, they put Nicolas Cage on it. He wrote it for a second because if you notice the wheels, they have these cool lights on them. Well, these would light up so then they could go in and CGI the flames. Oh, uh, right, uh, right. In Hollywood, there are no flames. It is all CGI. Wow, wow. And, and this, it, it, please tell me this is the Marlon Brando. Right? This is Marlon Brando. This is awesome. Marlon Brando wore awesome. this. You know, what he wore as Jarrell, Superman's father. And what's cool about this is when you guys hit it with the white light, it turns white. You can't film the color white. So they had to figure out what do you think it's made out of? I have, I have no idea. Reflective duct tape. No way. The no whole way. thing? It's muslin underneath and reflective duct tape on the outside. So when you hit that gray duct tape with light, it turns snow white and Marlon Brando becomes a god. And that was what Mario Puzo and Yellow Salcon were shooting for when they did Superman. That is Come on. amazing. That is just incredible. No, no, I'm, like, I'm, drawn, I'm drawn over to this one, too. Yeah. The, 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 the can I just uh, note, just real quick, Johnny Depp, uh, maybe not that tall of a guy. He's a little bit taller. A little bit taller. Yeah, this, is, this is not accurate. He's maybe about that tall. So okay. Sorry, Rob, you lose. I had my hopes up. Yeah. But maybe. Okay, maybe this is the George Reeve save. costume? No. Christopher Reeve. Christopher, this is right. Superman 1. Wow. This is war they filmed Superman 1 and 2 at the same time, 76 to 78. He wore it in both films. And this is a piece of kryptonite from what? Superman 3. The kryptonite only has one use or we'd be dead. So the power is gone, but this is real kryptonite. Wow. A uh, little tight in the crotch area, I feel like. Yeah, I knew you would notice that. I, for some reason, anytime we <laughs> see it. you at Comic-Con would notice that. It's, <laughs> it's kind of the thing that goes around here. it up around the belt uh, or yeah, something. Rob can't look at an uh, outfit without immediately looking at the crotch. <laughs> just, it's like his thing. Uh, so that the bidding at this is going to start at 60000 60 to 80000 I mean, a costume like this should sell for over $100,000. Wow. I mean, really cool. Same thing for Edward Scissorhand, Marlon Brando. A lot of these things should break world records. And let me ask, who's, who are the buyers? Just you know, hardcore collectors. Yeah, people from all over the world. Look, we're at Comic Con. People yeah. who love film. Uh -huh. look, they're looking at. Look, you think about art for a second. In right. 1970s, an Andy Warhol painting of Elizabeth Taylor was 1,500 bucks. It's 28 million now. You know? Oh, unbelievable! Wow. That's amazing. Listen, this is probably one of the coolest things we've seen since we've been here. Yeah. Right. Thank you for amazing. having us in here, man. Thank you right. so Continue much. Continue success. Right. Thank you. We will. We will. This is awesome. This is great. Don't touch anything because you bring it, you buy it. I know, especially not these knives on Edward Scissorhands. All right, back to you, T Square. Back to you guys. Bye.